Well, this has already been said and done before. Obviously, they one up every time I play. So that last tower that was over two foot is now by a couple inches been beat by this particular tower. So big that uh, I had to zoom all the way out just to get it all in the frame. But the size of this tower is irrelevant to me today. What I am playing for, what is in both of these cups. These collectible coins that are in both of these cups could be valued enough to buy me a new vehicle. And no, I am not clickbaiting. They can be. Now, are they to that grade level? Not. But still, could be worth several thousand dollars. I am super stoked about that. Alright guys, so look, today is a 15 minute time limit. It costs me $2,800 to pay to play into this field today. The idea is not to knock this tower down, although I have to knock this tower down to win. What I have to do is get three things right. The first thing is, obviously, I have to knock this tower down so these coins come off. Those coins somehow need to manage not to fall on the sides like where they're already facing and make their way in here. Then, after that, I also have to win both of the mystery bags that you probably having a hard time seeing, the gold and the silver. And the third and final thing is I have to guess the correct mystery bag. If those three things come into play and work out correct, then I can win both of these coins. Now, there is one of the clover leaves that I have for the necklaces and, and the things that I've been pawning off is inside of here to wish me and all of us luck. So without further ado, let's get in here. $2,800. We're playing the dump method. Let me get things lined up. And again, it's going to be a 15 minute limit. And the fun's going to start in three, two, one, and we're 15 minutes. So obviously my biggest fear today is getting these to come off inside the playing field. Now there's a question, oh what if only one comes off, then I only win one of them. So essentially, if both of them come off, I get everything, I win both. If only one comes off and the other one goes on the back, then I only win the one. But still opportunities to win it, which is awesome. Did give me an option of a buy-in reset if I absolutely wanted. However, it's gonna eat into our time. It's gonna jack up that $2,800 and I would be completely confident that I'm gonna win everything in here. So I don't think I'm that brave. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, okay. Good and bad news. Good news is that one might come off the side, and it did. Both of them are in play. What a streak of luck that was. Unbelievable. What a streak of luck that was. Somehow both of those just stayed inside the playing field. The one landed off of it and fell in. That is absolutely awesome. So cool. Both mystery bags are working their way up. I'm not jinxing today. I'm not jinxing it. But things are still looking okay. I'll say that. Oh! Wow. Oh! Wow. Hours it took him to play uh, to build that. Hours. That was my last quarter, guys. 
Oh no! Okay. Let's uh, be a glass half full kind of person today. Three gold pieces were in there. Gold mystery bag just came down. Silver mystery bag's almost there. Downfall, it took an awful lot of time. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go down there here shortly. Come on. There's that one. I have no idea where the other one is. So guys, if you know these, I think they're called the Barber Half Dollars 1900 series. If you're a fan of them, then you're going to want to watch tonight, tonight's auction. The last one I'm doing, as far as my knowledge I know, for the year. But that is one of the coins that they have donated uh, to get auctioned off. Also, uh, well, you'll see. Cross posted, Facebook and YouTube. took too long showing that that's all right we got the first one down if we get the only thing we have to do is get the other mystery bag and we at least have an opportunity a 50 50 shot at winning one of them left okay we're doing good I'm not stressing it's taking me a long time while I'm down there but we already won I'm assuming it was the one that was there we already got that down there's no rules to my knowledge I don't think about this necklace having to come off I don't remember them saying anything about that and the second mystery bag is down <laughs> oh Come on, baby, come on. I don't know where the other barber half dollar is. I feel like it got ate up. I'm gonna go down here and collect. Six minutes. So one of the things that helped out with this tower, the height, pushing against the glass, that was helping it to fall off. Second thing is, it's a skinny tower. Those skinnier tires are easy to fall down. So I'm gonna to have to make an educated guess and pick the right mystery bag. I've been leaving that up to you all here lately and it's been working out. Only got uh, one time I didn't get it. Maybe I'll just go live. 
show you all to pick gold or silver and then come back off. <laughs> So something else cool, um, which you all have already seen, but I haven't done it yet, is playing at the new spot. I'm so excited to have another location, a new spot for us to play. I hope you all enjoyed that video. It hasn't happened for me yet, but I'm gonna say yes, I had a blast. <laughs> all right, last quarter. Oh! No, 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 no. hoping that uh, ooh, it had snuck its way out and was down in the chute, but unfortunately it hasn't. I'm kind of at this point hoping that I do get that necklace to come down just in case that was something else. I know you're thinking, well, Josh, how, ca how can you play and not know the rules? And it's, it's, it's just because I guess I, I get focused on certain things that other conversation pieces just go over my brain. So this auction that's tonight, I, I know there's a lot of valuable things that is in it. Please know guys, they supplied the stuff. There's some things from the channel that I'm offering for you all, but they're the ones that supplying it doing it for an employee that uh, could really use the extra funds right now. They came up with the idea after this other auction and I was kind of internally saying, man, I just got done doing one and saying that I, I'm not going to do any more. Uh, but I can't tell them no, obviously. It's the least I could do. They're going to handle their own shipping. Plus, they're letting me, uh, I'm gonna auction a couple things off for myself. There's a gentleman, I hope you're watching. I'll know you as soon as I see you. Unfortunately, he's trying to pay for his son's funeral cost. And it aided me that I wasn't able, I didn't have him a part of the last auction. So get a hold of me, send me an email. And uh, that's, I'm gonna help, help pay for that. That's what I'm earning. Come on, the necklace is getting ready to fall. Getting ready to come down. Almost there, come on baby, it's a cliffhanger. I forgot all about the timer, wasn't even thinking. I know we're about a minute left. I, I, I was seriously got caught up in conversation. I'm really trying to win this necklace to come down more than anything, and I got it. All right, I'm happy. Whatever else happens in this little bit of time happens. I got the necklace down just in case. I know this plexi's been driving you all nuts, the little circle plates, but yet they look for any little thing to kind of get in the way. Come on, baby. I know the timer's gotta be getting close. All right, well, let me grab out the backup cup. 
playing until I hear the bells ring. There's a whole gob of money sitting right up there. But yes, tonight around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on both channels is the auction. I hope to see you then. Again, that's Saturday. If you're watching this on Saturday, love to see you. Trust me, if you're coin collectors, if you're in any kind of collectibles, even NASCAR die cast, very rare ones, there it is, guys. Couldn't work out better timing either. All right, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about today. I'm, I'm completely stoked. So, uh, let me shut this thing off. Go down here, and I think, oh. This was broke. No, it's not. I got it. Oh, I feel this way that I had a video that felt this good throughout all the video. I had a sense of peace, didn't get in, into a rush. Everything worked out to my advantage. These things are literally made to fall on the sides and both of them landed in the playing field. We got the necklace, we got mystery bags we got the gold there's a few things that we're not getting but overall we did amazing twenty eight hundred dollars out of pocket now I did ask just so you know if I needed to get this and basically no he said that was in there for decoration because he thought it looked cool <laughs> so we got both mystery bags we're gonna do this last but it's up to me to pick the right one I have an idea of which one I think I want to pick and I'll tell you why wait I've learned something the red chips have that silver or metal entered part of it and it makes it a little bit heavier and this bag's a little bit heavier than this bag so I'm, I'm going into it thinking that way hopefully that doesn't let me down guys this is the perfect time hit that like button trust me it helps me out so much subscribe to the channel follow the page come over to our VIP page and also don't forget the Joshua uh, I can't even remember I just renamed it I had someone leave me a silly comment about the Joshua Foundation said I got a hold of the state of West Virginia which all this happened apparently like late at night I got a hold of the state secretary of state and no one heard of your foundation <laughs> Gosh, you're thinking way too much into a name. It's just a name. But I think it's called uh, Pushing for a Cause or something like that now. Uh, one, I think it was Cat or Julie named it. It was a great idea. As soon as I heard it, I said, that's it. I like it. Got a dual purpose. But you go over there uh, and here in a couple weeks, after, especially after this next auction, um, if you have a GoFundMe that needs to be supported, if you go over there, get a hold of the group, there's six people, six or seven people that will be voting and see who gets what so like I said you might want to give it a couple weeks for the pot to get built up a little bit but that is for that reasoning all right guys enough chitter chatter $2,800 out of pocket 20 60 
$480, $480, which is absolutely nothing, seeing how it was a $2,800 buy-in. All right, we're gonna start back over from zero. 100. 200. Let's just do this. 300. 400. 500. 625 dollars in chips. 625 dollars in chips. One thousand one hundred and five. Still a long ways away from where we need to be. Um, also to be included, two buy-in chips. So I think that puts us at a total of 400 that I have saved back up, which is good. Now this is something super nice. One, two, three, four, five, six grams of gold. That's a good score, six grams of gold. And uh, let's go ahead and get to these two things right here. Uh, these and I believe this, the same one, is going to be part of uh, tonight's auction, just to let you know, so as you know. Um, they're gonna have this one here, so. Anyways, we got these two nice gold coins. Not sure of the value. Um, where are we at? Okay, now let's get into the most important part, and what I'm most excited about is these two coins. These two coins, and see, now that one's sort of in bad shape. Um, 1909 and a 1907. Of course, you know, I would need to get it graded. This one's in really good shape. I would need to get it graded and, and all that for the real value, but just to be able to have it. So again, to go over the rules, I have two mystery bags. I have a gold and silver. One of the mystery bags has next to nothing as far as money in it. The other one has the jackpot. If I get the jackpot, I win these. I win both of them because I got both of them off. Our luck, everything has been going just to plan. So let's not, uh, let's keep on the roll. So again, guys, my process of elimination here is I've noticed a little secret um, that the heavier bag is normally the one with the red chips in it just because I wish I had one to show you but it's got a metal uh, inside which makes the chip heavier and definitely this one's definitely heavier than this one so because of that I am going to rule this one out and we're going to open this one now normally I open the posing one first but it doesn't matter it's a 50 50 shot so let's go ahead and uh, I wish I need a mental drum roll this up I don't all right actually I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping that down I want to see it I, I literally have my eyes closed right now you all actually might have already seen what it is all right here we go in three two one that let me down see this metal right here that I'm talking about it makes them heavier why is the other one and not unless it's trickery and this one with 45 is the winner so that's what the hope I have to build on at this moment that that's just a bit of trickery I stink at knots in these things Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't feel the metal. Uh, all right. Three, two, one. 
two, one. No, no, no. Dang on it. Unbelievable. $220. The silver bag was the jackpot. Why was this heavier? Oh, no. What a bummer, man. Eleven oh five. Let's do this. Uh, sixty times six equals three sixty plus eleven oh five. One thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars minus the twenty eight hundred dollar buy in. Oh man. <laughs> $1,335 in the hole. This is not a good way to start the month off at all. Oh, this is hard. This is rough. Just remember this, guys, before you go gambling. Just remember, live vicariously through my wins and definitely live vicariously through my losses. I'm sweating now. All right, guys, I gotta get off here. I hope you enjoyed the battle all the way up until the end there. Uh, hopefully get A for effort. Hit, please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscription button, come part of our family, and make sure after you do that, click on the bell, and then scroll down and click on all notifications. That way you're not like so many others when we go live, or for instance, tonight if you wanna watch and be there right when the auction starts, that's how you wanna find out through that resource. If you're watching on Facebook, you can follow the page again it doesn't matter whether you're watching on YouTube and Facebook it's going to be cross posted like the first one uh, I'm going to make that night a good night only thing I can help is my Wednesday video which is past for you all future for me came out really good uh, share these videos guys that helps me out more than you could possibly imagine our Facebook VIP page I'd love to have you come over it's five dollars a month we do a lot of cool things at the end of this month we're doing our first meet and greet meet up coming here to play so the only way you can to make that possible is if you come part of our Facebook VIP page which you just have to hit the subscribe or says something subscribe to Josh Bartley guys have a wonderful weekend and I hope I see you all tonight all right guys have a good day boom shakalaka, shakalaka.